Hi everybody, thank you for coming to my channel. This is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk. It's been a week, <laughs> but I had to take a little mini vacation <laughs> and recharge. Um, I was, I'm, I've been crocheting, which uh, I've been crocheting a gnome, which will be another video. And I've been knitting mittens for a friend and <sighs> I've just been doing all sorts of stuff. And I've been working on my sewing journal. But I thought I did this. I I f actually found this on Pinterest because I love Pinterest. Um, they did it. Uh, they were using it in a different way. But I thought it's time for a how-to video. So let me show you what I have here. This, here's a little, okay, just a little like matchbook. So this band comes off and this is purely if you want it or not. Uh, we'll get to that. So the little band comes off. So here's the front. I just have a little book plate on it. Art in everyday life. And then when you open it, ta-da! It's a little pop-up. <laughs> so you open it. And so you have. I have a little pocket here with a fun little tag that says fitting room. Just a little fun little tag that fits right in there. It's kind of like a little surprise box. And then this one says individuality clothes. <laughs> so you can put whatever, but so I thought this was kind of a fun pop up and it's simple, which, you know, I love simple. So I made this and I put the little band on it because actually how I'm going to use this in my book, which I will show you. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some, I can glue it or I'll use some score tape and put it on the back of this band and then stationary it so it'll stay there. And then all you can, you have to do is take it out and the band will stay. And then, you know, you can stick it back in. So that's how I'm going to use it in my book. I'm, I'm not going to try putting it in a pocket or anything. Um, I want it shown is a good word. So I'm going to either glue it or use some score tape to stationary it. But let's get on and show you how to make this. Okay, so for this exact size, all right, it is about three and a fourth by three. And this, this square paper in here is a four inch square. Okay, so you need a four inch, so you need a four inch square paper, which I have right here. Ha a card stock works better, not like copy paper. I'm sure that'll work. It's just not as sturdy. So you need a more sturdier paper. Um, so let's start with the inside here, this four inch square. Okay, let me show you how to fold it. All right, so I have my four inch square. All you do is you're going to fold it up. like this. Make sure you put that crease in. All right, open it back up. Then you're going to rotate it. You're going to fold it again, even. So basically you just made four, you know, four square, you know, okay. Then you're going to move it to a corner. Doesn't matter whichever one you want, corner to corner. And then you're going to fold it one time, corner to corner. Let me put, all right. So you have a crease here. I wish I, I wonder if I can, oh, here, let me highlight it with some of the black so you guys can see the creases. which is fine because I needed to ink this one anyway. Oops. Okay. So kind of see what you have. So you folded it this way, you folded it down, and then you fold it diagonal. Okay. That's all there is to it. All right. So then what you're going to do is, okay, so where the crease comes towards you like this okay so what you want to do it's not that hard but it takes it's a little mind bender so the top here goes down 
all right and then the so I kind of, this is the easiest well here let's try it let me I'm trying to find the easiest way to do this so if we grab the diagonal okay grab one side and you want to pull this point down to this bottom point like this okay and the crease should automatically happen okay and you kind of hold it and then this other side here pull it down okay and the crease should automatically happen like this all right so let me show you this again okay so you're holding it like this this is that diagonal crease that's folded this way okay so you're going to take this right point and pull it toward you like you're going to fold it down okay and then push that crease over like that all right and then this side this crease here is this point here pull it down and then that crease folds and it should just fold automatically okay so now that you have that okay which is just what this looks like just like this all right now you can kind of see where you need to um, decorate it now in order to do this pocket okay um, let me get a piece of paper uh, uh, I had paper <laughs> I had scrap paper of course I, I did um, here let me Oh, this will work okay so if you want this pocket okay you could you could cut out a triangle and glue it but then that takes away the space that you would need um, for a smaller uh, tag so what I did to make this pocket all right here's what I did I got me a square piece of paper it didn't matter as long as it you know it, it came over the sides here I butted it up to where you see how I did that I just laid this over the, uh, the t this bottom triangle part where it butts up okay so then I flipped it around so can you see how it, it goes right up to that to those edges all right so what I did was I folded it along the edge here you know what it'll probably be easier if I show you how with a smaller piece of paper but that's how I did it oops hold on let me let me cut a decent size out and watch it now I'll watch it be small let me see y'all okay so I have this piece of paper that I put up okay and basically I'm folding it along the edge here and then I'm folding it back on the edge here okay so this makes a pocket and your edges are on the back that you glue but I do cut away um, the excess so let me cut the excess way so you can see what shape it is because I didn't really this wasn't part of the original this you know pop-up but um, I wanted to put a pocket in without it um, take it you know taking having to glue it so and then I just cut off any excess of that paper all right so then when you open it you have this little pocket here and then so basically it's like a really weird screwed up as long as the paper comes across so let me do a close-up here so this bottom square I stick it up to, oh my things upside down okay um, I stick it up where it can butt up as far as it goes and I just fold this back along the edge and I fold this back along the edge okay so you don't have to glue the front all right so you turn around and I glue the back 
Oh, let me, and I didn't have my glue ready. So all I do, oops, of course, Wendy, become fumble fingers. Doesn't take much, just enough to. So now I've got a fun little pocket here. All right, and it folds back. All right, so then, oh, let's see. Do I have a little tag made? I should have a little tag made to go right in there. Okay, so this for this size square, this four inch square, the tag size, I have no idea, but I will tell you. This little tag is three fourths of an inch by two inches. Okay, so it's two inches long and it's like three fourths of an inch. Okay, um, and it's just a fun little baby tag, nothing fancy, and that fits perfectly in this pocket. Okay, now if you would have glued this, it would have took it away and pushed up, and then you couldn't close it. You'd have to make a smaller tag, and I was not making a smaller tag. All right, so now this is where when you want to, like I put, this is for my sewing, so I put little pieces of uh, fabric, all right? Just make sure that your triangle is smaller than where the creases are, okay? So it's not, you don't want it butted up to it. You want a border revealed around it. See how I have this, this border around it? Because it allows it to close, all right? So, you, after you decorate, you put, you know, you put words, whatever. You put a little something up here, all right? Then you get your actual card base, which I still recommend um, a heavier card, you know, a card stock. All right, this is what I do. You don't have to have a certain size. What I did was um, I, oh, which way do I want it? Okay, I want it this way. So it has to go in diagonal like this. So when you glue it, it opens up like this. All right. So, and I liked it. You could have room on each side, but I like, so what I did was I found a piece of paper so I can, I kind of just measure it like that. I fold it on top of it like that. And then I'll be able to trim it down. Okay, so make sure you have it right, you know, the right side going the way it was, is, because, you know, you want your tag at the bottom. So I flip it over. And then you can use score tape and, or whatever glue. Uh, da -da. And then holding it down. Like I said, I matched it, the corner to the edge and then press it down and then make sure my card presses down okay so this is the size so I'll cut it down and then this is the size I want it to that point so Let's fold it so I have an edge to cut on. All right, so then this top part, put some glue. Make sure you get close to the edge because you want it to stick. And then you just press it down. And I had, I had my glue bottle on it like this <laughs> to get it to set. So um, once your glue sets, um, it opens right up. See? Is that not fun? Easy, fun little pop-up. So you decorate how you want here. You have a little fun little gift pocket there. 
So then you put whatever you want on the front. Now, if you want that band, uh, this band that I have, I'm fumbly fingers today. Uh, what I did was I just found, actually that was like literally um, scrap paper where I can probably use the same, um, oh, you know those strips of fabric or pieces of paper that you guys save, you know, that we save and we don't know, they're off cuts. This is a great way to use them. <laughs> oh, wait, do I have another one? Oh, this one might even work better. Nope, I'll use the solid white. Okay, so all I did was find me a long piece of paper. The width that I want, it doesn't have to, it could be whatever width you want. So, um... I just wrapped it around until I got the length I want. But you don't want it so tight you can't get this in. A little bitty bit of a gap. Okay? That it'll be easy to slide in and out of. So, let's see here. Now, I just, you can glue it. Or, you know, whatever. But I just put, since I'm almost out of my, this, I'm at the last end of this washi tape. I just used some of my washi tape on the back. Because this is for the back side. Let me make sure. Oh, okay. So it's, it's going in like this. All right. So this will be the back of it. So... All right, now I will end up gluing or taping the back of this band to the page because I don't want to, I want it to show. And then you put a little sticker or, you know, a little thing on your belly band and then um, it's done. So that's it. You pull it off out or you could tie, you put a little tie or ribbon around it. I just thought that it was neat to use the belly band and then open it up. And you have a fun little surprise. I thought this these were these were different. So that's it. That's my how-to video for today. So let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking it's not truly a pop-up, like you don't have like word, you know, a design or words popping up. I'm sure you could figure something out. This is more like a little gift pocket, surprise pocket. So I don't know. I have to think of what to call it. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so, hopefully this wasn't too long. Eight, I'm at 18 minutes. Yay, I did good. All right, like, subscribe, share. Tell me what you think. If you like this, if you've seen it, if you're going to make one. Um, that's it. You guys have a great day. Bye.